welcome to this episode of Heart and Health. In this episode, we'll be talking about LDL cholesterol. LDL cholesterol is also being called as bad cholesterol, and this is not without any reason. It is responsible for coronary artery disease and progression of atherosclerosis. And it has been said that it is one of the major risk factors for coronary artery disease. Lifelong exposure of high LDL levels is a very important determinant of increased coronary artery disease risk in patients. For how many years our arterial system has been exposed to increased level of LDL is also responsible for determining the risk of coronary artery disease. It has been said that 1% lowering of LDL cholesterol is responsible for 1% reduction in cardiovascular risk. We have previously talked about target levels of LDL cholesterol level in various type of patients. I'll discuss it very briefly here. Patients who already have a coronary artery disease or its risk equivalent, that is they have a history of stroke or peripheral arterial disease, it is better if they have their LDL cholesterol level less than 55 mg per deciliter or less than 50% of the baseline values. Patients who are at very high risk of cardiovascular events, it is better if they have their LDL cholesterol level either below 50% lower from the baseline values or less than 70 mg per deciliter. Patients who are at moderate risk should have their LDL cholesterol level less than 100 mg per deciliter and patients who are at low risk of cardiovascular disease, it is better if they have their LDL cholesterol level less than 116 mg per deciliter. So what all are we consuming in our diet which is responsible for this increased level of LDL or what all can we consume to avoid this elevated LDL levels in our diet. Number one, trans fats and saturated fat. Trans fats are the prime culprits which are responsible for increased LDL levels and so is saturated fat. Vegetables cooked in butter or uh, green may be responsible for your elevated LDL levels. Similarly, whole milk or cream may be responsible for elevated LDL levels. Bacon, salami, these are responsible for increased LDL levels. Pastries, muffins, cold drinks, cakes, these are also responsible for increasing the LDL levels. Palm oil, coconut oil, butters and creams. These can also increase the LDL levels if your vegetable or if your food is cooked with it. Consuming fried food can also cause increased LDL levels. Compared to this, food which is grilled, stained or boiled is better if you have higher LDL levels. Com consumption of Skimmed milk compared to whole milk may be beneficial if you have got elevated LDL levels. Consumption of poultry and fish may be better in comparison to red meat or bacon or salami if you are consuming it. Use of non-caloric sweeteners is always better if you are talking about a scenario where LDL levels are elevated. Raw vegetables, fresh fruits or frozen fruits are better if we are dealing with increased LDL levels. It has been said that approximately 10 kgs of weight loss can lead to 8 mg per deciliter reduction in the LDL level. So weight loss is also preferred in patients who have got higher LDL levels. We'll talk about diet, triglycerides and cardiovascular diseases in our next episode of Heart and Health. Till then, thank you for listening and bye.